Hey everybody, welcome to YouTube Live. I'm so excited to see you here today. Hope you are having a wonderful Monday. It is kind of rainy and a little dreary here today, so um, I guess I'm just gonna have to be cheerful and happy for everyone. Uh, gotta get my Stampin' Lips on. Oh. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. I am super excited because I sent out my retreat in a box this weekend. And um, for those of you who partake or partook in it, your box of amazingness is on its way to you, as you probably know by now. Many of you even got them today. And um, we have some fun things going on in the Facebook group, so make sure you check it out. If you're not in there, don't worry. I'm going to send an email for you so you can get logged in. We're going to have so much fun. Uh, I've got some fun things going on this week, so make sure you check that out. Um, let's see. Oh, I was thinking, what did I have to tell you guys today? I know I had a good story. We had kind of a busy weekend here. Um, well, all day Thursday and Friday, I worked on getting those retreats out. Um, and I was so fortunate to have some help from a couple of people. So thank you to my Whitney and to my Shelly for helping me get everything out. Um, and let's see. Okay, so here's my story. I am supposed to be going on a cruise this, uh, not this week, but next week for spring break. And I'm pretty sure we're still going. Um, we'll have, we're kind of playing it by ear to see what's going to happen. Um, I think I'm not really worried about getting Corona. Um, I, we're young, we're healthy. I don't think that's really much of an issue. But I am a little worried about getting stuck on a cruise ship or a quarantine situation. So I was, we, we've been sort of half joking, half serious about it here at my house. And um, my sister texts, my sister's been texting me all these silly things um, today. Like one, one was in fact, I wonder if I can, where is my iPad? Let's see if my iPad's here. I'll show it to you. Okay. So, um, and this is just meant to be silly, <laughs> but she sent me this. It just cracked me up. Let's see if I can get in here and show you this. Um, but so she was saying, well, uh, well, first of all, let me tell you that my, um, my, my old neighbor's mother is on the ship or hopefully not anymore that that's been off the California coast for the last however long several days and um the she's older of course and was running out of medication and so they were trying to get the medication to her and I think they got it but it was really awful and so my sister said she'd heard that they were passing out activity kits and so she said that I should pack some card kits and then I can get everybody on the cruise ship stamping and <laughs> making cards so um I thought that was really funny but then she sent me this picture and um, I just thought this, it just take it as, um, silly. Cause that's really what all that it's meant to be. But this is the picture she sent. It says you guys good. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Um, so I guess I'm a little frustrated because I don't understand why everybody is losing their minds over this. It's just... If you're just like taking the correct precautions, like washing your hands, that's always a good idea. Um, and all of that stuff. But then I think we listen to the news media and everybody gets all freaked out and oh my gosh, it's blah, blah, blah. It's, I, 
I saw today um, statistics on how many people have and have died from regular um, flu, and I can't even tell you. It's just so many more people. So <sighs> it's just kind of crazy. But yes, just wash your hands. It's a good idea. So I am washing my hands. One thing though, they said not to touch your face. And I have to tell you, I realized since they've said not to touch your face, I touch my face all the time. I rub my nose, I touch my lips, I stick my finger in my mouth, whatever. I mean, like, oh my gosh, I feel like I am a toddler. <laughs> I can't stop. It's really funny. I think that um, I really have... Um, I have like a complex about touching my face now, so that's weird. I don't know why. Anyway, um, so yes, I love that. Um, I love that, <laughs> that everybody's buying toilet paper. Like, I was at Costco yesterday, and I did not buy any hand sanitizer, and I did not buy any toilet paper. So there. <laughs> All right. Um, I just have to laugh about that. Now, I know there are some people who are at risk of contracting it. And to those people, yes, you stay home, you wash your hands, you get your hand sanitizer, and you stay clear of big crowds. But for the rest of the people, I... So, anyway, I know everybody, everybody is going crazy with um, toilet paper. I don't know what it is. The average person touches their face every two minutes. I'm sure it's like way like that for me, for sure. Oh my gosh. Your husband has purchased over 40 rolls in the last week and you told him to stop. <laughs> well, I really, I was talking to, um, I was talking to a friend of mine about it today and I just, I just, think people are losing their minds and they need to just calm down. You need to just relax. So anyway, I don't know. Oh, I just have to laugh though. I don't know what it is. Everybody is gone crazy. I think that's what it is. Obviously, I'm the sane one. So anyway, I think that's funny. See, oh my gosh, my nose itches. I want to touch it. I haven't been in any public places, so all of my germs are mine. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you got a laugh out of that. So, so yeah, I sh so my sister said I should bring Corona kits, <laughs> not beer card making. <laughs> so I am just laughing. <gasps> my boyfriend. Hi, Dan. I'm hoping my husband doesn't hear me say that so loud. <laughs> Although I think he, he knows that I have a boyfriend online. So anyway. <laughs> Um, I am really excited to get away. Oh my goodness. We're going to the Caribbean where everything is just better. So um, it will be a good time. It's going to be with our kids. And we actually haven't gone on a trip with our kids for a long time. We always go on a trip without our kids. So I'm kind of excited to go with them. That should be interesting. A lot of together time. <laughs> pray for me. <laughs> um, but we, I think, will have a great time. And I do plan on bringing some extra knitting. I've been kind of knitting a ton lately. In fact, I got to show you the thing I've been working on lately. I've got some more um, waiting room time tomorrow. So hopefully I'll, I'm almost done with another shawl. I'm excited about it. It's really bright, happy colors, just like me. And speaking of bright and happy, I have to tell you guys, I have... Um, some exciting news coming. I'm not quite ready to share it with you, but I've been working on this for a while. Um, it is going to be amazing. I think I alluded to it a little bit last week, but I have a new thing coming. I'm going to just call it a thing for right now. Um, and it is going to be, um, well, I'll it has sunshine and rainbows in the title. I'll say that. Or at least so far it does. I haven't finalized all the details yet, but I'm hoping to kind of get everything in place so that when I get back, I can release it. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. 
and something I've been working on for quite a while, and I think the time is just about here. I was hoping to do it a little sooner, but um, kind of got, my schedule kind of got changed around a little bit with my husband, so um, we're, we're hoping, we have an appointment tomorrow, so we're hoping to get um, maybe some more answers. Still don't have a huge change, if you guys have been following me. Um, with my husband. So, um, and I was thinking, you know, I keep having people ask, um, if I have, if I, if they could send a card to him and I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I think that might be really nice. I think that might help kind of lighten the mood, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I will, and I'll post my address. Well, I, mm, I don't I know if I should post my address right before I go on vacation. I'm just saying, but hmm. we'll see. Um, no, my our appointment is for my husband tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, but many of you know how to get a hold of me and my address. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, ooh, could it be related? No, I don't think so, Bethan. Um, I don't think so. So anyway, uh, we, I'll keep you guys posted though. And thank you so much to so many of you who've reached out and who've sent prayers and, and all of your, um, wishes and thoughts our way. We really appreciate it. That's very, very sweet of you. And if, um, and please know that I hear them loud and clear. I really am grateful, but I can't answer all of the messages. I've gotten so many messages guys, and I really appreciate it. And also, um, well, I just, I can't answer all of them. So I, I want you to know that I do hear you and I so thank you. Thank you so much. But, um, it's so hard to answer all of them. Um, my husband's name is Andy. So, um, my, so he has a PhD in aeronautical engineering and we have to, um, we have to laugh because my friend Barb's husband calls him doctor and we call my friend Barb's husband the sheriff because he's a sheriff's deputy. <laughs> so I always laugh because there's a line in the movie, um, in the movie You've Got Mail where the kid calls into the radio show and it's doctor whatever her name is. I can't remember her name for the call-in show. <laughs> and Tom Hanks's character says his, her first name could be doctor. So I always joke that my husband's first name could be doctor. And that's always just a silly little thing that we've always said. Anyway, <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I can have an entire conversation with my husband in movie quotes. It's a weird skill that we have. Um, <laughs> we love quoting movies. <laughs> And so that is just a funny one. And we always try to um, stump each other with quotes. So I think that's funny too. Also yesterday, so I took my kids um, shopping yesterday. Carl said, I don't have a swimsuit that I can wear in public, <laughs> which I thought was funny. I think he's grown a little. Anyway, um, I took my kids shopping and there was a big poster <laughs> Said that's what she said. I meant to post it on my page. Um, it was, you know, from the office, so I got a kick out of that. But anyway, okay. So I've got a few announcements that I want to share with you. And then um, we have cards to make. I've got several cards I'm excited about. I've got several guest requests. So um, it is going to be a great day for stamping. So I'm going to flip the camera around and then uh, close your eyes for just a moment while I get all of this jiggly mess going. Oh, not bad. Do I ever give stamping craft stuff out free to those who are not? Um, to those who are not what, Mary? Ooh, there we go. Oops, sorry, I got up there. Goodness, okay. Um, what does, I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Mary. Can you clarify? Okay. So, um, first of all, uh, the tomorrow, 
is the deadline. Oh, I thought I had a printout for this. I guess I don't. Um, tomorrow is the deadline for our, um, hold on. Ha ha, I found it. Paper pumpkin. So our March kit is going to have in it some, um, an extra stamp set. So this is my, this is my February kit, but, um, my March kit or the March kit is going to have a free bonus stamp set. And so, um, that's really awesome. And it, believe paper pumpkin has been around for seven years that's crazy so one of the things that I wanted to mention uh, I get questions about this um, relatively reg regularly um, and that is that uh, you can get a great deal on paper pumpkin by um, getting a prepaid subscription and the way that works is whenever you buy a prepaid subscription for three six or nine months Sorry, I have, I'm trying to move something so it doesn't fall and it's not going well. <laughs> I wanted to grab my catalog so I could show you this. Okay, so if you get a Paper Pumpkin subscription for three, six, or nine months, you will get um, a free celebration item. So, and you save money when you order a prepaid subscription. So anyway, uh, the three month is $63. The six month is 114. And then the 12 month is 220. So that's a really great deal. Um, and you can, if you get the 220, for a year that's like getting a free kit which is awesome and then the other thing is really cool is you can add just a little bit more to that to bump your total up to three hundred dollars and then you will qualify for six celebration items or uh yeah six celebration items plus you'll get that adorable little ladybug stamp set and here that is. You get that for free, plus you'll get $36 in host rewards. Now, if you don't um, if you don't want to do that, or maybe $300 is outside of your budget, you can host a workshop. And I do Facebook workshops, or you can just collect orders from your friends. And um, I can give you a host code, and then they can all order, and then you'll get the host benefits like this. And that's a really great deal too. So lots of options for you to get um, a great deal on Paper Pumpkin. Now, the other thing that's awesome is I send all of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers a um, PDF tutorial that has additional card ideas or project ideas, not just cards, uh, to use with their kits. So some of the projects are like just with the stamp set. Some of them are with, you know, some of the stuff that comes in your kit. Usually the kits have extra pieces that you can use. So that's really awesome. Um, can you pause the prepaid subscription like you can a pay as you go? I'm pretty sure you can, Brenda. Um, and all of that you just manage through the paperpumpkin.com part of your of your web of the Stampin' Up website, or I guess the Paper Pumpkin website, where your login is. Um, so yeah, that's a really great deal. Now, when you buy a prepaid subscription, they'll just give you an email with a code, and then you just redeem the code. So that's um, a great deal. So now I know some of you don't have Paper Pumpkin in the countries you live in, but please don't hate on me because that is not on, under my umbrella of control. So I know it's frustrating, but know that for those of you who do get Paper Pumpkin, you should subscribe to me. <laughs> okay. Um, this week, uh, I also have two classes that are coming out. I have the Under My Umbrella cla card class, and that is a really cute stamp set with a coordinating punch, and I love it. It's so cute. Um, ooh, Megan said someone should do a black market paper pumpkin. That's actually not funny, and here's why. Um... Stampin' Up! images and every stamp company's images get ripped off from China all the time. It's like stealing a car. Not good. Don't do that. It's very bad. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Um, under my umbrella, 
is one of the classes I have coming out. It has this really cute stamp set. And then, of course, the coordinating punch. And then with that class, if you order the pre-cut cardstock version of it, you'll get um, a half a package of the um, uh, Pleased as Punch um, Pleased as Punch printed paper which actually I'll show you in just a minute. And that's a really awesome deal. Um, and then the other class that I have coming out is with the Bonanza Buddies. And this is just such a cute, cute, cute class. So really awesome. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. By the way, Megan doing that is totally against our demonstrator agreement and we could get kicked out of Stampin' Up! So again, not cool. I know, I know you guys want it, but again, that's not a discussion for me. Sorry, you talk to Stampin' Up! about that. I know there's reasons and I'm sure most of them are logistics um, in terms of getting those kits to you guys. So, yep. Okay. All right. So yeah, someone said they think that the under my umbrella is part of the paper pumpkin kit. It kind of looks like that from that little flyer, but I have they haven't actually said anything, so I don't know. All right. Now, I do have some really cute cards to share with you like I said today. The first one I want to show you is part of our coordination product release. This came out last month. And um, if you were on my blog yesterday, you saw I used the Nature's Thoughts dies that coordinate with the um, positive or sending thoughts. That was, it was part of my, um, it is part of the, what is this called? Um, Simple to Stunning Sundays series that I do. <laughs> anyway, so these dies are available through the end of the month. And there's also a die set that goes with the special days. There's also the ladybug dies that coordinate with that adorable ladybug stamp set. There's a sending flowers die. Um, and then there's that a uh, birthday die to go with the happy birthday to you cake set. And then that please just punch paper I mentioned earlier. So all of these items are available through the end of this month or while supplies last. As far as I know, the supply on all of these items right now is good. So there we go. Um, someone just asked if the Bonanza Buddies was still available. And the answer to that is yes, it is. Um, okay, next, um, I took one of those product coordination product release items, the sending flowers dies. And I wanted to show you how to create, I can only describe it as a super duper cute Easter card with it. Okay. So let me grab the, I'm using that set and then the dies. Okay. So the die, um, there's there's five pieces in the dies and they create um, some really cool things. But what we're going to start with is this piece. And I just realized I didn't die cut this ahead of time, so I'm going to quick do it. <laughs> um, I die cut all the other stuff for this beforehand, but not this part. So I'm going to just die cut that out of some Granny Apple Green cardstock. So give me a second as I roll my big shot. Okay, I made a card with this, um, oh, a little while ago. I can't remember when, but um, it, and it was really cute. I just die cut it in white and then I did a sponged background. So that was fun. Oh gosh, I just ripped this. Or no, did I? Maybe not. This is what happens while you're talking and die cutting. Okay, there we go. No, I don't think I ripped it. Awesome. Okay, so here is everything. And then there's just a couple little pieces to get out. And they're all coming out nice and easy, which I love. Okay, so we've got all these cute little flowers, right? So fun. And um, I, I think I told you guys this last week, uh, my husband and I were talking about how it seems like spring is here, but I think Mother Nature is just toying with us. Okay, now what I'm going to do is actually cut this out 
of this piece of green. And I'm going to just snip that off so that I end up with this. Okay. And I don't need any of that. So I'll just trim it off. So there is what I've got. Isn't that cute? Now, before I went live, I took these two pieces and I die cut them once in each. Once of both of these one time in three different colors. So I did pa -ba -ba, Poppy Parade, Melon Mambo, and Mango Melody. All right. And I got all of these pieces. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of pieces, which is awesome. So then what I'm going to do is just take these pieces and I'm going to start glue dotting them onto the onto the um, flowers that they coordinate with. And you can see they kind of fit just right on here, which is awesome. They're designed to line right up. So that is so awesome. Oh my gosh. My, my birthday is this month. Well, happy early birthday, Linda. Your husband lets me buy whatever I want for my present. Oh, he's a keeper, Linda. Your husband is so sweet. He really is a keeper. Good for you. Okay, so I can, you can see that just lines right up. And I'm going to just stick um, the little flowers on each of these pieces. Now, I, I might have done it oh, ahead of time. Look at that. So you don't have to watch me. But I just basically lined all the different things, different um, pieces up. Okay, so I'm going to just move all this aside. Didn't you like how I had my Martha Stewart moment here? It's all done for me. Oh, so awesome. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and I wanted, I, I was looking at a several different options for putting this together. So what I decided, um, what I wanted to do is start with a nice white card base because I thought then the colors would really pop up off of my card. And I have, um, I have an option, and we're going to see if we like it or not. It might not work, but if it does, great. <laughs> okay, so here's my card base. Now I wanted to put it on here like that. So I cut a little piece of cardstock that's about this size. And what I'm going to do is take and do a little sponging on this piece. I might not keep it like that. Um, but if I like how it turns out, then we'll keep. Okay, so I'm going to grab some scraps of paper and I need my uh, brushes. Now, people always ask me this every time. I'm just using some, um, whoa! Hold on. Stop everything. Remove. Oh my gosh. Sorry, we had a naughty person on here. Wow. Whew. Okay. Um, if you guys see anything, um, please, please let me know. Oh my gosh. We do not tolerate that kind of stuff on my channel. We're a happy place. Come on. Okay, so I've got some Coastal Cabana ink and I'm using my makeup brush. I got this on Amazon. This is an extra large size makeup brush. Um, you can also get them at the Dollar Tree, I hear. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that first little bit of ink and then I'm just going to swirl on some ink in my background here. And again, I haven't decided if I wanted to keep, do this or not. We're just trying it out. That's what we're all about here. Do you clean those? No, are you kidding me? I'm too, too, too lazy. Um, I do not. I do keep, I've got, oh, maybe a dozen of them now. I've collected pool party, um, let's see, pool party, uh, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay. And then like, I've got a green one. Um, one thing um, is to put 
just to get rid of the extra ink on your scrap paper. You can wipe them on a rag or you can actually wash them out, but I don't want to wait for them to dry, so I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Um, okay, so next up, I'm going to take some Granny Apple Green, and we're going to do green on here. Okay, so we'll get rid of that first bit of ink. Um, that's often really dark. We don't want any harsh lines on here, and we just colored that. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, that is what I'm going to do. And then you can see I can put my flowers on top and that looks cute. I don't know if I like this though, so I think I'm not going to use this piece, but maybe we could vote on it. I just don't know that I like that. Um, I think maybe if I had a, a gap between the colors, it might be okay. Well, maybe I do like this. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, so tell me, should we go with white or sponged? Tell me that in the... In the comments okay Tammy loves it Diane loves it sponge 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 okay fine we'll sponge it <laughs> I guess this card is sponge worthy <laughs> okay um, so <laughs> let's put this together all right so I'm gonna pop this layer up because you know that is my thing every card needs something that is popped up onto it that's just words to live by. <laughs> All right. So I use Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. Of course, the color that lets us know God loves us. And I'm just going to pop right on here. And then um, I am going to take and put this on with a few glue dots. You wipe on... A scrub or a chamois oh okay that's a good idea yeah I'm just I'm you guys probably have heard me say this maybe once or twice I'm super lazy I just don't do that <laughs> okay now I'm going to stamp my sentiment and that is um, from the stamp set welcome Easter which is just so cute um, and I'm gonna use have a wonderful Easter and I just think that is a really sweet sentiment for this fun, happy spring card. And I do really think this is such a, a sweet um, card. Just because of the colors and everything. Okay, so I stamped that in my Coastal Cabana. And then uh, I'm going to pop this up right over the top. And it almost looks to me like um, a planter box. Like that might be in somebody's window, so that's kind of a sweet little idea. Okay. Oops. Centered, centered, centered. There we go. And now, of course, I got to put something in the center of these flowers. I mean, hello. Now, you could do pearls. You could do rhinestones. You could do whatever you want. I'm going to go with rhinestones because I think they're fun and happy. <laughs> and so I'm just going to pull these out. I still have these old ones, you know, that where the little things are connected. I still have a few more of these. So I'm just going to snip them apart. These got discontinued a few years ago, but I apparently bought like a gazillion of them. Well, that's not true. When I moved, I found a bunch more like that had been kind of stuffed away or something. And I was like, oh, look at that. You know how you find things. I know you guys don't hoard anything, so... Um, I'm sure that's not an issue oh, where you are. <laughs> oh, I know. But luckily we don't judge here at the Creativity Cave, so it's all good. I'm going to put a little bigger one in the center of that flower because it's just a little bigger. And then one here. And I love using my Take Your Pick tool for this because it's just so easy. The guy that keeps saying mean is not nice. Get 
Is he still on here? Is that guy still on here? Because, mm. Okay, there we go. So those are just fun and happy, cute, 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 awesome. So, and I don't think anything else needs to go on here. Now, if you want, though, you could, um, say, put a little something on the inside. Now, I'm going to stamp this on a just a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White because um, I'm going to stamp my cute little... Um, well, maybe I'll stamp my bunny. Well, I don't know. You could stamp whatever you want on the inside. Um, I'm going to do the bunny because I can do that really quick. So on the bunny, uh, I'm going to stamp it on the inside. And I'll stamp it in basic gray ink. <laughs> All of our cards are sponge worthy. I don't know. Not everything is sponge worthy in my book. Most things are. But look at that. That bunny is so stinking cute. So what I think would look really cute is I'm just getting my blends. Is to get a little bit of um pink on here and this is bright but it's to go with you know what we've done so far and maybe a little pink here and then some lighter let's see You know, one of the reasons I like Easter cards is like, I don't see everybody in my family on Easter. So I think it's kind of a nice reason to send a card. Kind of like, I don't know, Christmas, sometimes you don't have to see everybody. But I think that's super cute. Um, ooh, you know what else would be super cute is to take one of these flowers and put it in on its head. Oh my gosh, this might just be too much. Oh. It really is probably going to kill you. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, pink nose. Thank you. Oh, uh, honestly. Is this killing you? I just, wow. Too much cuteness. Way too much cuteness. Good call on the pink nose, whoever said that. So there we go. Um, and then just to kind of tie the last little bit in, there's some grass in this stamp set and <laughs> it's just kind of the perfect little thing to add in here. And I could even just do a teeny little bit of sponging. Right here and then that'll kind of tie everything together. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more green and just sponge the very bottom of this. I don't wanna get it too far up because I want my bunny to stay cute and white. But, oh, adorable. Okay, so we're gonna just put that on the inside of our card. And then I think the flower and then the sponging kind of ties it all together, so. Yeah, really cute. Okay. Now, let's put this inside our card. Now, the reason I didn't stamp it inside the white card, um, in case you were wondering, on its own, is because this stick, this can bleed through the coloring, and some people don't like that. So, yeah. There you go. Oh, and then we can stamp Happy Easter because that's in that stamp set. There's a Happy Easter, so we'll um, do that. Okay. And I will stamp Happy Easter. Um, I 
think in lovely. Well, I did mullet, mullet, mama, mambo, melon. Yeah. Well, obviously, we would have a fashionable Easter bunny with a sweet little flower in its hair. So there we go. So cute. Okay. And can I just show you this? There's like a cross of um, rhinestones on my sheet here. Kind of. Isn't that good? I'm making an Easter card and I've got a cross. Okay. Just had to point that out. All right. So there we go. Such a sweet card. Next up, <laughs> we went a little longer on that card than I was intending, but that's okay. Sometimes good things happen when we do that. Next up, this one I've actually been kind of dying to play with. And since I've got my sponging out, I wanted to do this. Now we have a set called Birthday Jubilee, which is a really cool stamp set. Um, and the dies that go with it are amazing. Here is that set. So Birthday Jubilee is in the Occasions catalog. And to me, it totally looks like, a, um, oh, what's it called? Um, a Cinco de Mayo stamp set. And that's probably because of these pieces. So I really like them. So I die cut these in basic black cardstock. And then what I wanted to do was a little bit more sponging because you just can't get enough sponging, right? Now let me get rid of my paper here. Have a nice fresh piece for our sponging. We'll get rid of this. Okay, so um, for this one, I was going to do some bright colors again. Let me, I'm just getting my sponges or my brushes. Okay, pink, that's what I wanted. All right, um, or no, that's not what I, I want a red. Well, maybe I'll use this as red. Purple, coral, yeah, I don't actually have a red one. Okay, so uh, what I was gonna do with this is, okay. I wanted to make sure my piece is just gonna go a little, yeah. Well, okay, final answer, <laughs> three and seven eighths, three and seven eighths inch wide. <laughs> okay, so um, what I'm going to do is start with some yellow here at the bottom, and um, then we're going to graduate up. Actually, maybe what I'm going to do is yellow in the middle. I think that might actually work kind of awesome. Okay, so I've got my Daffodil Delight, and as always, getting rid of that first brush of ink, and then I'm just going to sponge or swirl this across the center of my card, which looks great. Okay, then I'm going to go um, to my next color, which is going to be Mango. Okay, got rid of the first layer of ink. Swirling that around, and I'm trying, I didn't do a very good job, I'm trying to leave a little bit of yellow in the center, but it's not really happening. I got a little aggressive at the beginning there, but that's okay. I'm gonna blend a little more yellow. That's good. Okay, um... Let's see, the next one is a Melon Mambo. And chances are Melon Mambo is going to blend and give us um, some more oranges. Um, and that's actually, yeah. But what I wanted was there to be a little bit of ma Melon Mambo at the beginning of the card, but that's okay because I do like the colors that we've got going on here. And well, yeah. This isn't nearly as even as I had intended when I started, but that's all right. Okay, now one thing I will tell you, 
is your fingers can get dirty. So if you have like a piece of white that you can hold with, that's a good one. Um, so yeah. So we'll just add a little bit more Melon Mambo. And the colors look awesome. Now you can see they're not perfect and that's okay because we're going to cover most of this up and that's just fine. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this. And then we're going to put our layers over the top and look at how super cool that is. Ha ha ha. All right, so I really like that. And uh, I'm going to adhere these with my silicone mat and liquid glue. And um, I, I have to laugh because my workspace keeps getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... There we go. All right, so I squeezed out some liquid glue and then I'm going to take my little uh, sponge that I've got on my clip. I'm just kind of spreading this out so I can get an even, um, an even coating. Okay, and then we're going to stick this right on here. Um, somebody is asking how I store them. You can, like, well, my husband actually 3D printed me a thing for them. <laughs> Which, if you know my husband, is kind of funny. Um, you can get little, uh, little thingies on Amazon. They usually come up when you look for the brushes on Amazon. Um... Honestly, a drawer will work just fine as well. So um, how do I get my ink pads to open and close so easily? You know what? Um, was that Donna that just asked that? Um, I think because I use them. Um, I think if you don't ever use them, if you'd ever open them or close them, they're going to be a little stiffer. But once you use them, and, and I mean like a couple times, not like tons, that should do it. So I haven't had trouble. I mean, I remember when I get a new ink pad, sometimes it's a little bit um, tricky to open. But other than that, it should it should be just fine. Okay, so I've got my beautiful background on here. And then what I'm going to do next is add my sentiment and so the stamp set comes with some really great sentiments um there is a celebrating you is the best and that's really cute um the other one uh happy birthday is really pretty because you can put it right across here so it's just kind of whatever you want the celebrating you um you can stamp well actually I think I'm going to use that I was going to do happy birthday and maybe I'll put that on the inside um but I want to do the celebrating you and I'll show you why I'm gonna stick that on a block and I'm gonna start yeah that'll well actually we'll see hold on um <laughs> we'll see if it fits um, and you know what? I think I'm going to use Poppy Parade. I didn't actually use Poppy Ink, but I think I sort of got Poppy um, as a result of the blending of my colors. So I think my Poppy might need to be re-inked. We'll see. Okay. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. I'm going to grab my two-inch circle. Hello. And we'll punch that out. So awesome. And then I'm going to take and punch once again another punch. This is the fancy something something label. And what I'm going to do with this 
is I'm gonna do a little more sponging on this one. I'm gonna take and I've got, this is mango. Now someone said that their, that their daffodil doesn't look like mine. Um, this is mango melody. It's not daffodil delight. I bear, I just did a little bit of daffodil at the beginning. So that might be why. And then I'll do a little bit of melon mambo on here. And we'll sponge that kind of around. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to punch it with a label. Uh -huh. Okay. And yeah, it is only my second card. Well, we had stuff to talk about. There's always stuff, you know. <laughs> there we go. And then this will cover a lot of that, most of that. Um, but it'll be cute. And then I'm actually going to do one more thing. And that is... Maybe I'll do just daffodil. Let's see, where did my daffodil go? Aha. I'll do just daffodil on a scrap. This is all um, different from what I originally <laughs> intended to do. I hope you guys all know. Um, let's see, I'm just looking for the right, here we go, size scrap. Okay. But, ooh, I like what we're doing. So pretty. Now here I really want the color to be intense, so I'm just going right for it. Oh, I bent it, but that's okay because it's in the middle where it won't show. All right. Now I'm going to take my triple banner punch. Oh, are you guys serious? Jeez. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, get off my channel. Stevie Joe. Time out for you, too. Goodness. Ugh. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is the part that's kind of a bummer about YouTube. Is There's a few wackadoodles on here. Don't worry. It's already done. Okay. Um, now. Uh, this was a little crooked, so let me stamp. Oh, that's crooked, too. There we go. Third time's the charm. Okay, so we've got all this gorgeous sponging action. It's so pretty. And then um, I'm going to put this onto my card. So I'm going to start by popping this up. Well, I'm going to, hmm, I think I'll put it right on. I need to move this white card away from those sponges, though, because it would be a really big bummer if that got ruined. Okay. Okay, so we've got Celebrating You is the best. And then we're going to adhere this right over the center. So I kind of was able to get my Daffodil Delight ink back on there. <laughs> and then I'm going to pop this layer up. Okay. And where are my scissors? Okay. So there we go. 
Isn't that pretty? Oh. Now, here's the question. Do we put it on a black card base? Oh, I think yes. Oh, so pretty. Now, you can do this with so many different color combinations, but I think I sort of had that um, kind of on my brain after the first card we did. So, yeah. These, by the way, are far putsier than the rest of our cards. The rest are going to be quite simple in comparison. Okay, so there it is. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. Now, one thing you could definitely do that would be really pretty is to spritz it a little bit with some Clear Wink of Stella. And that'll just add some... Um, some sparkle to it. So I'm just going to smack that against here and then I'll show you what the result is. So I'm trying to, I don't know if it's focusing or not, but yeah. So there's some sparkle on here. I don't know if you're picking it up on my camera or not. But super, super pretty. I don't really see this. Oh, there they are. There we go. But yeah. All right. Next up. Oh, um, okay. So we had some requests for the uh, Forever Blossoms. And this is a really beautiful stamp set. <clears throat> so we're going to get away from the bright and happy colors and we're going to do something a little more subdued with this stamp set. So this is um, part of the Parisian Blossoms suite of products. So there's two bundles that coordinate with this, this and the Parisian Beauty. And um, it's really pretty. The other thing is when you place an order through my online store, you can get a free PDF from me that features this bundle in it. Um, it is the All-Star Parisian Blossoms Tutorial Bundle, and there are 12 amazing projects in here. Um, you can also purchase this PDF for $15. There's 12 projects, 15 bucks. It's a heck of a deal. Um, and there are step-by-step -step tutorials, tons of pictures, and really, really gorgeous cards. So let me show you my card. And by the way, if you, um, if you did my retreat in a box, there's a couple different projects featured in our retreat in a box with this bundle. So I took, um, and I wanted to stamp just the little individual flowers. And, um, I, by the way, I need to close this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I took the individual flowers and I wanted to stamp them um, on my card and color them in. So I'm going to stamp this in basic gray. I think last week I talked about um, wanting to stamp things in gray tones versus black so that they wouldn't be quite so, you know, harsh. And I really like the look of that. So I'm going to grab my blends. Let's see. What did I do with them? Ah, oh, here they are. And I'm going to color this in with a uh, pool party. So I'll start by doing the center in the uh, dark pool party and then blending the rest out with the light. It's so pretty. Really simple coloring. So that's easy. And then for the leaf, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use Old Olive. And if you're coming or going, thank you for being here. You can check out the replay um, if you don't catch the whole thing. Okay. So we've got Old Olive and Pool Party. Oh, so pretty. Really simple coloring. Now, I did that three times, and I die cut them. 
So are you guys ready for my Martha Stewart moment? I always like having these. So, waha, there they all are. So pretty. <sighs> okay. Um, are you asking me what my name is, Alexandria? Um, I'm Dina. So welcome. Lovely to see you. All right. So I'm going to, let's see, I am using a couple different things. Hello. Um, I've got the new vellum. Uh, this is one of the new celebration choices. And I've paired this um, with some pool party. So this is pool party vellum. It comes in three different colors. And then um, I've paired it with some pool party cardstock. And then I'm going to put it on a layer of whisper white. And I kind of like the look of that. Isn't that cool? All right. So I'll take and tack that down with some snail. I'm going to cover this up with those flowers. So I just kind of want to center this on here. Like so. Okay, and you can't even see the snail really, so that's awesome. Um, the first one, Alexandria, the first one, D-E-N-A. Thank you, because most people spell it Dinah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to place this on my card here. And Carl is the young man talking in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's my husband. Not my husband. Oh, my gosh, it's my son. What did I say? Oh, look, we have a piece of paper that's been stamped on. That's funny. I pulled it out of my scrap drawer. Okay, so there we go. I've just adhered this to a piece of Whisper White. And then I'm going to take and I die cut these um, ahead of time so that they were all done. And then uh, I'm going to place them kind of behind each flower like so. So I really like this um, layout because it's just as simple and it highlights these beautiful flowers. Okay. I'm going to pop these up on top of the leaves. So I'm going to put a dimensional down to kind of hold the leaf in place. And then you can see I kind of have the leaves pointing in a different direction for each one, like so. All right, I'm going to start with the first one in the center. And then I'll kind of space these out accordingly. It does look like a Pac-Man background. That's really funny. I like that. Yeah. Oops, I got to take the backing off of this one for it to stick. Okay, so really pretty. And then um, in our stamp set, there's all kinds of sentiments. Many of them are sort of geared towards uh, like love and whatnot. But what I really like in here is you mean so much to me. I think that's just a nice sentiment. And by the way, when I have extra pieces, I just stick them in a clear envelope and put them in here. So we're going to do you mean so much to me. Ooh, it's a virgin. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> All right. And then of course we'll stamp that in, um, basic gray ink as well. I think I put that back, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, can you believe I just did that? Hold on. Let me see if I can line it up. Oh, I still didn't get it. There. That is some amazing skill, people. Did you see what I just did? <laughs> I just totally got that. 
All right, now I really liked this texture and I felt like my card was a little bit bl bland. So I die cut or I embossed the Parisian embossing folder, whatever that was. <laughs> um, do you like that? Whatever that is. And I'm putting that on here and just a little bit of it is gonna peek out. Yeah, I, I can see you guys are impressed with my skills. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna trim this just a little bit down uh, because I wanna see just a little more of my folder. So I'm gonna cut my white piece to be even with my vellum. But I'm also trying to ensure that I don't cut off my leaves. Okay. And I think I'll cut it off the bottom here. All right, so that will show me um, a little more of my folder. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, isn't that pretty? Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to put a fair amount of glue on here. So it'll stick to all those bumps and lumps. Okay. And then I'm going to fold my card base. Oh, where's my bone folder? And then I'll just adhere this to my card base. Now, of course, we got to put some pearls on here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I am just getting all kinds of weird comments today. What is the deal? Jeez. Oh, good Lord. Okay. Go away. This is not a forum for people to comment on not stamping related topics. Okay, my friends. We're here for stamping and happy times, not whatever weird platform you have. <sighs> We're happy people. Yeah, this is why I didn't give you my address. <laughs> okay. I don't mean you guys. I mean the weirdos that seem to be on in full force today. My gosh. You know what, you guys? It is a full moon. It is Friday the 13th. I think it's a full moon. Pretty sure this week. And it's daylight savings. That's like some sort of weird trifecta. Ugh. Okay. So, with my rant... All right, now I want to put a little pearl in the center of each of these. Okay, and the pearls go so, oops, so nicely with that polka dotted paper. Oh, goodness, why is this moving on me? There we go. So really sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, love. Okay, one more one more little tidbit that we've got to do here is we're just going to put a little clear wink of Stella on here to add just a little touch of sparkle. Cause sparkle never heard so anyone. <laughs> I know, I guess um I guess I, I have made it that I have all these trolls today, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right there we go oh it's just so pretty okay now here's one more little thing that we could do though that will like just take it from pretty to like crazy and that is I'm going to take the big floral image and with pool party because that's the color we've been using on here I'm going to take and um stamp this Maybe the toilet paper conversation attracted them. That is possible. So I'm going to just stamp off the first layer because I want it to be nice and light. And then I'm just going to stamp it in the corner here. Like that. Just so it's kind of light and pretty. Okay. So there we go. That was our third card. Yeah, we're not, we're not really moving at a super fast pace today. 
<laughs> um, all right. Next up, what do I have next? Ooh, where is my next card? Let's see. Um, might have been all that I had actually planned for today. How many? I only did three. Gosh, no. Oh, I know. Sorry. Um, we were going to do, so I got to show you this. Hold on. I made this card on my blog last week. So this is with um, some of some of that same suite of products, the Parisian bundles or Parisian blossoms. And I made this. And then on the inside, I just put this in the little um, corner. So I thought this was really cute. And I thought, oh my gosh, I could totally make that into a card. I mean, I really kind of think so. So um, what I want to do is take... And just create a really, really simple card with it. So I've got a three and three quarters by five inch piece of cardstock. And then uh, I'm going to take the little, um, there's kind of like writing. And I'm going to stamp that in pool party. Okay. So everything that I am um, doing, you can order from me, and I'll put links in the description of this video for you to my online store. They're not up here, but they will be soon. Okay, so isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to take, um, oh, also from this stamp set... So there's this little fleur-de-lis, and then there's this um, Eiffel Tower postage stamp, and then this. Okay, so we're going to use the fleur-de-lis I didn't have out yet. Okay, so we're going to take that, and like I said, I stamped off the first layer of ink. So then I'll do this with full strength. This is all pool party. Okay, and I'm just going to stamp that kind of right off here to the side. That looks good. And then I'm going to use some, I used gray granite on the card that I made the other day. So I'm going to do that again. And I'll stamp that right there. And then I got my little cancellation stamp on there. So that all looks really, really pretty. Now in this stamp set, um, there's lots of different sentiments. So I think what I'm going to do is the follow your heart. It will take you to incredible places. And I think that just is perfect. I already took that out though. Here we go. Nope. Yep. Got it. <laughs> now for this, I'm going to stamp it in basic gray because it's going to be a darker shade. And so then it'll show up kind of over all of this. Like so. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now I want to add just a little, a little bit more to this. So I think I'm going to take, there's kind of like a little border of stuff in here as well. Let's take this. I haven't used the stamp yet. I think it's about time. And where did my gray granite go? All right. I'm just going to stamp that kind of down here to even things out a little bit. And you don't see that so much. So I'll stamp it once more right there. Okay. Isn't that awesome? So pretty. So someone just asked, will there be a spring occasions catalog coming out after celebration is over? No, the celebration is through March, but the occasions catalog continues. And then our annual catalog will come out after that in June. So yeah. All right. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? Now, 
I've got a layer of, um, this is basic, or no, it's uh, gray granite. And then I'm gonna take some silver. I've got some silver metallic thread and I'm going to wrap some of that around here. And just sort of put it at the bottom. So I've tacked it down with some snail adhesive like so, and it's just on there. Isn't that kind of cool? And then to finish it off, we're gonna put it on a piece of pool party for my card base. Like so. And, ooh, one more touch, because <laughs> I just can't stop. Let's see, where, here are my rhinestones. I'm gonna add just a couple of these. So all of that was inspired by the inside, which is sort of an afterthought, really, um, of the card that I did last week on my blog. So there, oh, isn't that awesome? So yeah, there you go. I really love them. Um, Oh gosh. Okay, seriously, I should know better. What is with these people? Go on. I really have never had quite so many trolls before in one setting. So we did a wide range of cards today. We've got some soft, pretty ones and some really bright, crazy ones. So let me show you my projects. Just, just <laughs> scooch everything aside. Here we go. Um, so we did that one. And then we also did this one. Yeah, I know I need to not acknowledge them, but gosh, it's just like the first one, the stuff he said was so horrible. And I didn't pop anything on this one. I didn't, did I? Gosh, that is like crazy. That is so not me. <laughs> All right. Oops. Um, we did this bright, happy one. And then we did this beautiful one. Now, I would love it if you needed to order any of these amazing things. If you would shop my online store, that helps me so much. Um, there will be links in the description of this video for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There should be like a little thing right here to, that says subscribe um, so that you can catch all of the awesome stuff. You can watch the replay, Marilyn. Don't worry. Um... Anyway, I think it's a really wonderful, um, a really wonderful thing to uh, support the amazing videos that you see by placing orders. That is so awesome. It helps uh, so much. I also have online classes. I'll put links to those in the description of this video as well. So thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. I will not be here next week because it is spring break, but I will be back the week after. So thank you guys. Have a just a fabulous week and I will see you soon. I'll keep you posted on everything that's going on. So make sure to follow me on social media and um, I will love to see you again soon. Bye-bye.